The Islamo leftist lobby follows a vicious cycle of hate. In this, they try to subvert Indian civilization under the one true belief system in every manner possible. This includes ideological, cultural, and religious subversion. For them, subversion through conversion and coercion has become a set template. In case if the perpetrator gets caught, they try to absolve his or her sins and trivialize the sensitivity of the crime. Hi and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Palak. Before we proceed with the video, do check out premium content on our website by clicking the i button. The horrific murder case of young Shraddha Walker has shocked the entire nation. The nation is demanding reforms to avoid a repeat of such heinous acts in the future. But contrary to popular societal voices of angst, despair and grief, the anti-Indian lobby is working hard to absolve Aftab of all his sins. Efforts widely range from proving Aftab to be the most virtuous man on the planet to an estranged lover who lost his cool and imitated acts he saw on the American murder series Dexter. Earlier, the media houses were peddling the narrative that Aftab is a man of virtues and has been voicing support for woke, liberal and feminist issues. But now, they have turned the tide to create a sympathy wave for the alleged jihadi. The latest trends in the leftist media portals hint at the nefarious plan they have used in the past and are again trying to use it to completely or partially exonerate Aftab from the charges of murder. Several media reports are doing the rounds claiming that Aftab used to repeatedly see Shraddha's decapitated face after keeping her head in the fridge. Sidelining the motive and pattern of love jihad, the overdramatization of cruel and sadistic mannerisms clearly hints that attempts are being made to give the jihadi an easy pass by claiming him to be a victim of mental illness. With this, the lobby is trying to exploit the loopholes in the wording of the legal and judicial systems. There is an exception for unsound mind in section 84 of the IPC and the lobby is trying to wash off Taab clean off his jihadi sins and brand him as mentally ill psychopath. Several analysts have also pointed towards this cruel tactic of the lobby and its attempt to hinder the course of justice for the departed soul. Senior journalist Smita Prakash tweeted, that everything in the case is being manipulated to portray Aftab as a psychopath, insane and social misfit in order to avoid the death penalty and receive lenient punishment. If this happens, later, through the so-called liberal outcry and mercy appeal, they will get the jail sentence reduced and get their ideology jihadi out on the streets. Now, let me explain how this happens and how this lobby spins doctors' cases to safeguard their nefarious anti-India agenda. First, they downplay the gravity of the situation and try to hide it under the carpet. They start shedding crocodile tears, saying that talking about such crimes will spread hatred and paranoia. Second, they start waving victim cards along religious, caste or gender lines. They wildly try to humanize such jihadis and terrorists by spinning sob stories around them. The heinous stories surrounding terrorist Burhan Wani are a prime example of this. When all else fails, they openly condemn the perpetrator as self-radicalized lone wolf and of unsound mind. In the meantime, they carry on funding, shielding and supporting the so-called mental lone wolf for furthering their cause. This prison methodology has been adopted by the Islamo-leftist lobby. The notorious sword-wielding attack on Gorakhpur Mat by an ISI-inspired IIT graduate, Ahmed Murtaza, perfectly exposes this hideous modus operandi of the Islamo-leftist lobby and vested anti-India forces. Now they are doing the same here. They should realize that their hideous plans have been exposed and justice will prevail no matter how hard they try to save the jihadi. The case of Shraddha Walker has united India and the movement for justice will only stop when the nation ensures that no more Shraddha gets enticed into the trap of love jihad by any Aftab or Shahrukh. 